what's up guys Griff and GFX in the building today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a colorful vibrant dubstep logo inside of Photoshop I'm using Photoshop not Illustrator or an SVG platform because I'm going to be using style effects to really bring this logo to life dubstep logos are very over pronounced they're a little bit chaotic but I wanted to take that and simplify it a little bit adding a bit of consistency to what is sometimes an absolute craziness of a logo so I found this base font that I really like i'll leave that in the description and it's on the screen now so you can check it out and i used this as a guide i duplicated it and made it very transparent in the background of my canvas so that it was kind of just there in the background as a sort of template to base my own font off of now when you're making a logo for yourself or for a client i always recommend using a font as inspiration but not stopping just with the default font it's never going to have that much energy or be very unique if you're just using a base font and it's probably not going to be royalty free especially the good fonts you're going to need to buy it so in order to make a logo like this that you see on the screen you're going to need to do a bit of work so after looking at the base font for a while and seeing what angles looked good, I began using the pen tool and the marquee tool to add my own elements, remove bits. I wanted to have some little slices going into the letters and I wanted the angles to be really sharp. The dubstep look is very striking. It's almost like electricity bolts. Everything looks a bit like a lightning zap. So I only used one angle, right? It's either a horizontal line or it's a slightly above 90 degree angle. Having just two angles for every single shape adds a continuity to your logo, which is gonna make it more powerful than if there's tons of different angles throughout. I like making multiple variations of letters just in case the client decides that the S or the L or the X isn't how they like it. Then I can easily swap back and forth and whilst I'm creating it I can decide which one I think looks the best so yeah using the marquee tool and the pen tool you can see how I quickly construct my own font based off of an existing font that I can then later on a new layer add style effects to just to bring it to life but first you need to get this base font down I'm not going to show you how I did the entire thing because it's just a lot of experimentation with different shapes but you get the idea of what I did to create this and once I got the spacing right I then used my style pack this is psyche deluxe pack that is on my website at griffingfx.com you can buy it for i believe only five pounds or five dollars it's a steal and it's going to give you so many different colorful trippy effects to play with the default logo that the client and i ended up deciding on was this very simple green outer stroke but what i wanted to do is provide loads of different variations before we locked in on one so i tried blood metal three-dimensional and i ended up with this little sheet here which i sent him full of different ideas so that he could get a feel for what kind of a logo he wanted could have made this video longer but i wanted to keep it really concise and just inspire you guys on the kind of the thought process behind what i do when approaching a client project like this one so yeah that has been how i created this cool dubstep logo and if you need any artwork you can hit me up on instagram griffin underscore gfx and i'd very happily take on a project thanks for watching guys get a job and see you in the next one